All right, we have a question here from John. It says, thoughts on a fintech basket, Adyen, PayPal, SoFi. Well, I do like Adyen. Stock has gotten a lot cheaper. We're going to cover that in depth in two weeks, um, two weeks from this Tuesday. PayPal, don't like too much, but it's just a little, I feel like it's a bit of a falling knife, but it could easily work out. SoFi, I like them as well, but I think I'd rank Adyen as the one I'm most comfortable with. One, given I like the management team, and two, his strong track record of profitability. And three, I do think they have a long-term competitive advantage. SoFi is a bit riskier, but I think has really big potential. I listened to the interview with Brad Freeman that we had today. And then PayPal would put last. But Ryan, uh, what are your thoughts there? Yeah, I don't know. The I have mixed thoughts about PayPal specifically. Really with, it feels like the company has been mismanaged and it feels like what, what we just talked about. It feels like, honestly, there's a lot of bloat. The the resources are scattered. They don't have any sort of real strategic direction. There there aren't like the priorities. They don't seem like they're focused on any one thing. It feels like they're honestly spread too thin, which is probably a byproduct of them acquiring what twenty companies over the last ten years. Well, hey, they just launched PayPal USD on Venmo. So, do you know what that is? I got a good idea. It's their stable coin. <laughs> A little late to the party on that, I imagine. Yeah, I'm the, sure so many of the Venmo users care. Yeah, but continue. I don't know. And I have some concerns over PayPal's core branded checkout, which I've I've kind of talked about that on this show a number of times, which is just there's going to be a lot of competition from Google Pay and Apple Pay. So I have some concerns. And that's really still kind of one of their big cash cows. So concerns there. So far... I, Maybe you could take a basket approach here, but I, I look at all these companies very differently. SoFi, I love the deposit growth, and I'm seeing it anecdotally a lot where friends are hearing about the savings rates at SoFi, and they're like, yeah, you know, why not? I'll, I'll take SoFi, and I'll, I'll go there. And I, I've seen a number of my friends move money over to a SoFi account and get that really attractive savings rate. The only difficulty is the, the more – SoFi, I think – has the highest savings rate I've seen of any of the digital banks in the US, the big ones I can think of. I haven't looked that closely at like Chime, but for me, I think it's high. I mean, it's higher than Ally and Ally is kind of similar in terms of the banking side of things. So you're taking a little bit of risk when you have that high of deposit base or a high of uh, cost of capital on your deposit base. So that, that savings rate that we talked about. And I think just generally as a bank risk taking has some, uh, it can be slightly concerning. So, so if I am, I'm really on the fence, Brad Freeman gave a really good pitch about it last week uh, in our podcast feed. If you want to check it out, he's owned it for a while. And I, I think there's a case to be made that this could be a substantially larger business, but obviously there's some risk there. Adian. I think it checks out. Still a little expensive. Last I looked, I know it's still come down a lot, but kind of above where I wanted to, uh, where I was targeting my initial purchase. Yeah, Adian's an interesting one because the margin is so strong, but you know the numbers start looking a little uglier if the margins compress. I think that's the big question for me. Got some comments here saying that SoFi book is very risky. Yes, that's true. Um, we have something from Foo Hat. I don't know <laughs> what, what that's referring to, but uh, can we talk about the best bank, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, or Goldman? And if you like growth, why not US Bank? I don't know much about any of those, to be honest. So hand up here, but I would say probably not Wells Fargo. They're just getting hamstrung by the government. And yeah. There's a reason that Buffett sold all of these except Bank of America. I think JP Morgan is always, I think as long as Jamie Dimon's there, honestly, it's worthy of owning. Who, John Maxfield, what did he say? Jamie Dimon is a savant. I like that. And they, yeah. I don't know, they oh, so just continuously, or go ahead. It pro you probably get the Diamond premium, I'm guessing. 
I'm guessing you have to pay a little more for JP Morgan. Um, let's see. Let's see what they're trading at. This is going to be very scientific looking it up on a aggregator. PE right now, 9.5. Um, so I'm guessing they're pricing in a little bit of compression there, but eh, not too crazy expensive. Yeah, also, let me throw this some... question out at you. Okay. Student loans, how how big of an effect on the economy do you think it'll be people having to repay those? Very easy question to answer. <laughs> I think it won't have much of an effect. If you look at the payments, it's, I don't know if it was a hundred billion or a few hundred billion. The, like the checkable, the, the savings is like in the, if you compare it from like 2019, so pre pandemic period, the excess savings on consumer balance sheets went from like a trillion to four trillion. So there's plenty of room for people to pay these back. In aggregate, obviously, there's going to be some horror stories, as there always are with loans, but that's just how it goes. I have another comment here that says, having looked at CEO, CEO of Wells Fargo, so I'm guessing the new one, he got praise from Jamie, or actually they did, so don't know if it's a man or a woman. They Wells Fargo needs the cap lift, but other than that, they are good. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, they had this cap lift where they actually couldn't grow their loan book, which pretty much hamstrings you as a bank. So maybe once that gets taken out, there's an opportunity here because I know Wells Fargo has historically, or excuse me, in recent history, traded at a very big discount to its book value. But I do not know, and I know Ryan doesn't as well, the big banks very well. So I think- And you got to discount those accounts. <laughs> yeah, uh, hopefully Since they have they no more- not fake. be real people. <laughs> yeah, hopefully they do not have many or any more fake accounts there. Uh, okay, 